In the ancient land of Ayodhya, nestled along the fertile plains of the Ganges River, there reigned a king named Harishchandra, renowned throughout the realms for his unwavering commitment to truth and righteousness. His subjects held him in the highest esteem, seeing in him not just a ruler but the very embodiment of Dharma, the moral order that sustains the universe. One day, the great sage Vishwamitra, known for his profound wisdom and formidable yogic powers, decided to test the depths of Harishchandra's virtue. It is said that Harishchandra had inadvertently disturbed Vishwamitra during a deep meditation, prompting the sage to challenge the king's adherence to satya or truth. Using his mystical abilities, Vishwamitra appeared to Harishchandra in a dream, where the king promised to grant any boon the sage desired. The following day, Vishwamitra approached Harishchandra and reminded him of his promise. Without hesitation, Harishchandra acknowledged the dream as reality, honoring his word. Vishwamitra then requested the king's entire kingdom as his gift. True to his commitment, Harishchandra relinquished his throne, his palace, and all his riches to the sage, leaving the court in shock and disbelief. As Harishchandra, his queen Taramati, and their young son Rohitashva departed from the splendor of their royal life, Vishwamitra demanded a dakshina, a sacrificial fee, to complete the ritual of the gift. Having already surrendered all his possessions, Harishchandra was unable to fulfill this obligation. Determined to honor his promise, he resolved to earn the dakshina by any means necessary. In a heart-wrenching decision, Harishchandra and Taramati agreed to sell themselves and their son into servitude. They went to the marketplace, where Taramati and Rohitashva were purchased by a Brahmin, who took them to the distant city of Kashi. Harishchandra was bought by the keeper of the cremation grounds in Kashi, an untouchable named Dom, who assigned him the grim task of tending the pyres and collecting fees for the last rites. Separated from his family and stripped of his royal status, Harishchandra labored day and night amidst the smoke and ashes of the cremation grounds. The once revered king now performed the most humbling and impure duties, yet he remained steadfast in his commitment to Dharma. The weight of his duties and the longing for his family tested his spirit, but he clung to truth as his guiding light. Meanwhile, Taramati and Rohitashva endured the hardships of servitude under their stern master. They toiled tirelessly, their nobility hidden beneath tattered garments and weary faces. Despite their suffering, Taramati instilled in Rohitashva the virtues of integrity and perseverance, hoping that one day they might be reunited with Harishchandra. One fateful day, Rohitashva was gathering flowers in the forest when he stumbled upon a cobra. The serpent struck, and the boy fell lifeless. Taramati's anguished cries echoed through the trees as she clutched her son's body. Overwhelmed with grief, she resolved to perform his funeral rites despite having nothing to offer. Carrying Rohitashva's body, Taramati made her way to the cremation grounds of Kashi, where the smoke rose like solemn prayers to the heavens. As she approached, Harishchandra, unrecognizable in his ascetic state, stood as the custodian of the grounds. Bound by his duty, he informed her that a fee must be paid to perform the cremation. Taramati, her face etched with sorrow, pleaded with the groundskeeper, unaware that he was her own husband. I have nothing left, she cried. My son is gone, and I possess no means to pay. Harishchandra, his heart heavy with an unspoken recognition, insisted gently, I cannot waive the fee, for it is my duty to uphold the rules of this sacred place. Desperate, Taramati offered the only possession she had left, her Mangal Sutra, the sacred necklace symbolizing her marriage. As she handed it over, Harishchandra's eyes filled with tears, realizing the full weight of their shared sacrifice. Taking the necklace, he felt as though the last ties to their former lives were dissolving. At that moment, the heavens trembled, and a divine light bathed the cremation grounds. The gods descended, accompanied by Yama, the Lord of Death, and Dharma personified. Vishwamitra appeared beside them, his stern demeanor softening. Addressing Harish Chandra and Taramati, the gods spoke in unison, Your unwavering dedication to truth and righteousness has moved the cosmos. Yama gently touched Rohitashva, 
and life surged back into the boy's body. The family embraced, their tears of sorrow transforming into tears of joy. Vishwamitra revealed the true nature of their trials, acknowledging that Harishchandra's virtue had surpassed even the loftiest expectations. The gods offered Harishchandra a place among them in the celestial realms. Yet, ever mindful of his duties, Harishchandra humbly requested, Allow me to return to my kingdom and ensure the welfare of my people before I accept your gracious offer. The gods granted his wish, restoring his kingdom with even greater prosperity and harmony. Reunited and redeemed, Harishchandra, Taramati, and Rohitashva returned to Ayodhya. The people rejoiced at the sight of their beloved king and his family, whose trials had become a testament to the power of truth and the resilience of the human spirit. Under Harishchandra's renewed reign, the kingdom flourished like never before. In quiet moments, Harishchandra reflected on his journey. He had faced the depths of despair, the loss of all worldly attachments, and the ultimate tests of his commitment to Satya and Dharma. Through every hardship, he held steadfast to his principles, understanding that true nobility lies not in power or wealth, but in the purity of one's actions. Harishchandra's tale spread far and wide, inspiring generations to uphold the virtues of integrity and sacrifice. His life became a beacon, illuminating the path of righteousness for all who heard his story. The gods themselves marveled at the strength of his character, and his name was etched into the annals of history as a paragon of virtue. Sage Vishwamitra, having witnessed the profound depth of Harishchandra's virtue, gained a renewed respect for the king. Their interactions underscored the importance of testing one's character to reveal true strength. Harishchandra's unwavering adherence to truth had not only fulfilled the sage's challenge, but had elevated the moral fabric of humanity. The city of Kashi, where the convergence of life and death was a daily reality, became a symbolic backdrop for Harishchandra's trials. The cremation grounds, a place of ultimate humility, served as the crucible in which his devotion to Dharma was tested and affirmed. His experiences there highlighted the transient nature of worldly attachments and the enduring significance of spiritual duty. The Mangal Sutra, Taramati's final offering, embodied the profound sacrifices made in the name of righteousness. By relinquishing this sacred symbol of their marriage, she demonstrated an unparalleled commitment to the principles they both held dear. Their willingness to place duty above personal bonds elevated their love to a transcendent plane. The story of King Harishchandra stands as a profound exploration of the human spirit's capacity for truth and sacrifice. His unwavering commitment to Satya and Dharma, even when faced with unimaginable hardships, reflects the highest ideals of ancient Indian philosophy. Through his journey, we witness the complex interplay between personal duty and emotional ties, and the moral dilemmas that arise when these forces collide. The moment when Harishchandra charges his own wife for their son's cremation encapsulates the essence of Dharma, placing duty over personal desire. It challenges us to consider the weight of societal roles and the sacrifices required to uphold moral order. This act, while seemingly harsh, underscores the belief that truth and duty transcend even the deepest personal bonds. Sage Vishwamitra's role as both challenger and catalyst emphasizes the importance of testing one's virtues to reveal true character. His interactions with Harishchandra illustrate the trials that one must endure to attain spiritual enlightenment and cosmic recognition. The divine intervention by the gods serves as a reminder that righteousness is ultimately rewarded, reinforcing the belief in a just and moral universe. The story also sheds light on the cultural and religious significance of Kashi, the cremation grounds, and the rituals surrounding life and death in ancient India. It reflects the societal values of the time, where kings were expected to embody the highest ethical standards and where personal sacrifice was esteemed as a noble path. In today's world, King Harishchandra's narrative continues to resonate, reminding us of the timeless virtues of integrity, sacrifice, and unwavering commitment to one's principles. His journey invites us to reflect on our own values 
and the lengths we are willing to go to uphold them. The tale endures not merely as a cultural artifact, but as a universal testament to the strength of the human spirit in the pursuit of righteousness. The challenges faced by Harish Chandra highlight the moral complexities inherent in the human experience. His ability to navigate these challenges without compromising his values serves as an inspiration. The story encourages us to consider how we might respond when our own principles are tested and what sacrifices we would be willing to make in the name of truth and duty. The narrative underscores the belief that adherence to Dharma ultimately leads to harmony and balance within the universe. Harishchandra's trials and eventual restoration symbolize the cyclical nature of suffering and redemption. His legacy teaches that while the path of righteousness may be fraught with hardship, it leads to the highest form of spiritual fulfillment. Harishchandra's story also emphasizes the importance of humility and the shedding of ego. By embracing his humbling role in the cremation grounds, he let go of worldly pride, allowing his true character to shine. This aspect of the narrative invites reflection on the value of humility in the pursuit of personal growth and moral integrity. Ultimately, King Harish Chandra's enduring legacy serves as a guiding light through the complexities of ethical dilemmas and the trials of life. His unwavering faith in Satya and Dharma offers a blueprint for living a life of purpose and honor. His tale reminds us that true greatness is measured not by status or wealth, but by the steadfastness of one's character in the face of adversity. As we contemplate the story of Harish Chandra, we are called to examine our own commitments to truth and duty. His journey inspires us to rise above personal desires, to act with integrity, and to contribute to the greater good. The timeless lessons embedded in his narrative continue to illuminate the path toward a just and moral existence for all.